Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Nick Molina with Embrace Tutoring. In this video, we'll be covering number two from the non-calculator math section of the College Board Practice Test number 10. Remember, these videos provide additional explanations and content review, but you'll always want to attempt the problems independently. Before we begin, do us a favor and subscribe to the link below to receive the most recent videos and practice problems. Okay, let's get started. So a television with a price of $300 is to be purchased with an initial payment of $60 and weekly payments of $30. So in that first sentence, we have a couple of things I want to point out. We have uh, the total price of the television is $300. We have an initial payment of $60. And we have a weekly payment of $30. So the only part of this sentence that reoccurs is that weekly payment. All right, and that's important moving forward. Which of these following equations can be used to find the number of weekly payments W, so they define our variable there, required to complete the purchase, assuming there are no taxes or fees? So if I scan through my answer choices, I notice that all of these are linear models. And I can tell they're all linear models because the only variable in the equation is expressed to the first power. And that's true for any linear model, where the highest power, wherever you see a variable, the highest power is one, you know you're dealing with a linear model. So a linear models have two parts. All right, we're gonna have an initial amount. In the linear model, that's always the y-intercept. And it's always gonna have a rate, which is represented as the slope. Now, if we look back at our problem, the only reoccurring amount, which is the rate in this case, is the weekly payments of $30. So that's going to be our rate, 30. So if we look at our answer choices, we can already eliminate answer choice D. Answer choice D has the rate represented as 60, and that's not true. Okay, the next thing we have to consider is that initial payment of $60. Now, answer choice B can be eliminated because it doesn't even factor in that uh, initial amount of $60. So now what we have left are these two equations. We have to compare the 30W minus 60 and the 30W plus 60. Now, we're trying to figure out how is this initial payment of $60 represented in this model. So if I was to say isolate this 30w in my linear model, what would happen is I would get 360 will equal that 30w. Versus down here, I would get 240 equals 30w. So we have to consider which one is actually taking into account the initial payment. Is the initial payment added to the total price or is it subtracted from the total price? And it is subtracted from the total price. So our answer choice here is going to be C. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video.